we've brought together a group of talented makers to transform this empty house into the ultimate fantasy mansion. I did say it was a doll's house, didn't I? This week... That is magnificent. The makers get cosy under the sheets. It's probably the hardest week ever. And this is my worst nightmare. Both teams have identical empty dioramas to work with, 12 times smaller than a human-sized bedroom. Dream team. They have 10 hours to make some Elizabethan magic. What does everybody feel comfortable making? I'd really like to do the fireplace, cos I'd like to do it with a mould this time, rather than 3D print. Yeah? Thomas, what are you after? I'm thinking I'd like the writing desk. I think uh, that works really well, then. Yeah? Cos I'd, I'd love to give the bed a go. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Look at that, that's so harmonious. Dom has a charming, rustic vision for his Elizabethan boudoir. Wood, glorious wood, with exposed floorboards, panelled walls, and Bexie's grand, ornate wooden fireplace, the focal point of the room. Dom's bed will be hand-carved, with additional carved detail at the back of the headboard. And in the corner, Thomas's version of a writing desk, a writing slope. All the rage in the 1600s, they were considered portable, so basically an Elizabethan laptop. I want our room to be in the house. Yeah, That's it will be. Suits me. Don't be off-put that we're the three and we're against the four. Less cooks, better broth, isn't it? Best things come in small packages. <laughs> I live my life by that motto. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you have to bring all your things over? Yes. Five minutes, my lovelies. Don't forget, if the furniture is not in the room, it will be going to a very tiny second-hand furniture shop, but not count. OK, where's my box? Coming in centre. What do we think about putting the bed in front of the window? Yeah, do it. Slightly on the diagonal. Because then they can see the back of it, which looks good. My bed's going to have to go this way. It looks ugly the other way, I'm afraid. Oh, nice. It kind of covers yes, everything, doesn't it? Shove it in that corner. Candle. And the final touches. Elizabethan accessories made in the mini challenge. Are we done? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Forsooth, my lords and my ladies, time is up. Put your tools down. You're done. Doesn't look terrible. It was a little frantic at the end. I'm pleased that we're finished. I'm really pleased that we're finished. I'm so proud of the team as well. Like, everyone's just put together in this last-minute last, last minute effort, and, yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. <gasps> Before the judges decide on the winning room... <laughs> I'm going in for a little lie down. I mean, look, I'm supposed to be working after all. So this is Team Dom's room. Now, I happen to know he absolutely loves this period of history, and I really think you can feel that. His team have totally captured the atmosphere of an Elizabethan bedroom. You can really appreciate the detail, from the dark oak panelling with the Tudor roses to the rich fabrics and, of course, the Gloriana that is this fabulous four-poster bed. Let's see if it's comfy. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's sort of hard to believe that Bexie's whole fireplace surround was made from a mould. I mean, from here, it looks hand-carved. There's some carved elements in there. The posters at the end, they're an amalgamation of about seven or eight different wooden elements. Whose idea was it to put the bed in that position? Obviously, Bex's fire is so beautiful. I didn't want the bed to be covering the fire. Looking at Dom's bed, the fact that the back was carved as well, it sort of draws the eye in. Bexie, this is the first time in the competition that we've seen you move away from your 3D printing, so are you happy with your craftsmanship? I'm really happy because I learned so much about materials. What I like about your fireplace, it fits that era. If you walk in some castles, you know, you'd look and say, Oh, that's Bex's fireplace. <laughs> well, well done, Team Dom. Very good. Let's reveal the room of the week. It's Dom's team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I love how Elizabethan it is. I think the colour scheme's great. I love the kind of the finish and the patina on the wood. It works really cohesively. I think you've delivered an exceptional piece of work this week. Thank you. Thank you.